the shower head was pretty much a fallout episode um following up you know what all happened with the aftermath of the cadillac episode with morty seinfeld getting impeached and they get kicked out of their condo so the plan was was i guess for helen and morty they're going to move to a different area called del boca vista however they're still you know humiliated dealing with the aftermath they're just they're not ready to go back to florida yet so they secluded themselves to new york for now they weren't living with jerry though they were living at uncle leo's place because uncle leo had a girlfriend lydia and he moved in with her which he seems very happy but of course jerry's problem is is he's um his buffer zone went from 1200 miles to um to not a couple miles so he's um trying to find some way to get his parents to get down to florida sooner rather than later which this also prompts george the idea that he's going to try to convince his parents to move down to florida also so he can get get a bigger buffer um um a bigger buffer zone as well so there's all that playing there then there's drama inside the building because they're installing low flow shower heads in all the apartments and Jerry Kramer and Newman all dislike it big time. And then there's Elaine who's dealing with her own problem. She has a big opportunity to go to Africa with Peterman, but there's one flaw in her physical that she can't seem to get rid of. And also, also briefly cost her her job. So, um, so that story there with Elaine, let's see if I can get to talk about that. Elaine is getting ready to go out to go to Africa with Peterman. It's a big opportunity for her, something she really wants to do. She has to get a physical first. She gets her physical. However, she ends up testing positive for opium. And Elaine's confused. She doesn't understand, you know, why she tests positive for opium. You know, she doesn't take any like drugs or anything like that. Uh, Peterman told her she can't go to Africa. And then she basically is trying to, you know, get him to get take a test a second time. And see, see, maybe it was just a mistake. He gives the opportunity to. Unfortunately, Elaine tested positive again for opium. And she doesn't understand why she tested positive for opium. Hold up on there for a second with that story. But um, the other story, again, was, was with Jerry, Kramer, and Newman... They were getting new low flow shower heads installed in their building. Kramer, of course, you know, didn't like it because, you know, of course, well, the problem is, is that the, the low flow showers are causing them not to be able to get all the shampoo out of their hair. Kramer had to take a bath and he hated taking the bath. Jerry, meanwhile, his hair is all ruined and he's going to be on the Jay Leno show. So, him. Kramer and Newman. Newman knows a guy who works for the black market or something like that, and he they were gonna have access to better shower heads for them. Come back to them a little bit later. But before then, of course, they discovered that Kramer was so desperate to take a shower, he went to Elaine's office and begged her to let him use her shower. But of course, Peterman happened to walk by, and this is one of the only times we've really seen Peterman get angry. Peterman walks by and hears Kramer talking to Elaine. But it was basically not the right time because it was mistaken as Kramer basically was getting ready to, you know, put the moves on Elaine. Basically, Peterman thought that um, he said that Kramer was going to put the moves on Elaine at the office. And then Peterman basically just like, yelled at, at Kramer, yanked him out of the office and, um, and slammed the door in his face. Which, of course, Kramer went face forward into the door when they shut the door on him. Um... And then Peterman's telling Elaine that, you know, he cares about her, but she needs help. And also, she's, um, she's, um, gonna fire him. Uh, she, I mean, she's, he's gonna fire her, so, uh, because, you know, because, you know, and get everything taken care of, she needs to get taken care of. So, that all collapses for her. George, meanwhile, is trying to talk his parents into moving to Florida. And, for, well, first, you know, it was kind of like he wasn't trying to be, you know, be, he was trying to make it obvious, but it was obvious. There was like, Georgie, do you really want us to go to Florida? And, of course, they, at first they, they weren't for it, but then when they, they went to visit Jerry backstage for the Jay Leno show, 
of course, the Costanzas and the Seinfelds see each other for the first time since the raincoats. Well, they didn't see each other. Well, yeah, they did then. I'm sorry. But they found out, of course, that um, the Seinfelds don't care for the Costanzas. So there's been like a rivalry between the two parents, which, despite all that, um, um, they still, well, right now, the, the four of them, because we, Estelle and, um, and Liz, both passed away earlier this this year. Now they're all three, all four of them are in heaven. Hopefully they're getting along up there now. But anyways, um, <sighs> sorry, yawn there. Um, so then when um, basically Morty was trying, it was kind of the same thing as from back in the Maestro episode. Morty was trying to tell them that there's nowhere, there's no play, open places down in Del Boca Vista, which. Jerry Stiller had, had a horrible time trying to say Del Boca Vista, uh, Del Vesta Boca, Del Boca Vesta. There was so many outtakes on it in, in the gag reel. It was so funny. But because of that, that's what prompted them to want to move to Florida. And Jerry, and then Jerry's idea was he was trying to get Uncle Leo to move back into his place. So he basically tells him, Uncle Leo, that you know, him and Lydia, you know, there he's too, uh, Uncle Leo should be, you know, going for someone much younger. He, he could do much better than Lydia. Well, then while watching the Jay Leno show with Lydia, Uncle Leo hears this bid that Jerry did about him. And then he was kind of like unhappy about it. He broke up with Lydia and then it was, he, Jerry thought that his parents were going to be moving, moving back to Florida. George's excited that his parents were going back to Florida. So they're all excited about that. They're having a beer partying. But then, um, um, while, uh, Morty and Helen are getting packed up to leave to go back to Florida, um, they get a call and it's Frank is basically saying that, you know, we're going to haunt you down in Del Boca Vista and whatnot. So that's when they decide they're not moving to Florida. Of course, they call Jerry in the midst of him and George's celebration. And then, of course, since Leo's moving back in, they um, they um, they ask Jerry if they could crash at his place. Which, you hear off camera, you hear over the phone in the background, Jerry drop his bottle and the bottle breaks. He's gone from 1,200 miles to like 2 feet they're going to be staying in the same place, which of course causes a lot of a lot of you know problems. And when Jerry's not happy about that, and of course George is like, "Well, hey, you know, you got you had your buffer zone. Now it's my turn to get my buffer zone," which of course Jerry again is not happy about that. Um, meanwhile, Elaine then figures out the problem with her opium issue. She was talking with, with a waitress at um, at Monk's, which strange enough to see Elaine in conversation with a stranger. Elaine's not that type of person. We've seen in how many episodes she hates making conversation with strangers. She's not a people person, except for people in her in her you know friend zone or whatnot. But um, uh, Elaine is talking to the waitress, and then someone else who's in, in there happened to overhear them, and she she mentions that. You know, you realize, you know, the reason why you're, um, you're, uh, getting, um, you might be testing positive for opium is because of what you're eating, which she's eating, um, a bunch of poppy seeds, which are full of opium. When she realizes it's poppies, it's like po poppies that are causing her to test positive for opium. So she's, she's going to call Peter and, and tell him, tell him that, you know, Hey, you know, the reason why I have the positive for opium is because I eat a lot of poppy seeds from poppy seed bagels or, or yeah, for bagels or muffins, one to two. Uh, so she says, if I, if I can go on, on a poppy seedless diet, you know, I, I can prove, you know, you know, and I could be good to go. Well, then Elaine was eating some chicken and she found there was some poppy seeds in the chicken and she was getting ready to take that test like very shortly. So she's freaking out what to do. And the first person she sees is Helen Seinfeld, who she begs for a sample of her urine. She gives him the sa her the sample, gets tested, tests negative for opium. Elaine gets her job back, but Peterman does not um, does not want to take Elaine to Africa because um, basically her um, urine shows she has the traits of a sixty eight year old woman. Uh, with uh, with possibly osteoporosis, 
Selena gets her job back, but she doesn't get to go to Africa because, you know, her urine plan still backfired on her. Well, the plan of using Mrs. Seinfeld's urine backfired on her, unfortunately. That sucks. And then, of course, the, the, the three, of course, but then, um, after, you know, Jerry talks to Uncle Leo and trying to find a way to get, to get, um, to get the Uncle Leo to go back to Lydia, he basically now tells him and said that, you know, he, he can do better than Lydia with someone young. Uh, he then says that, no, you know, you're old, you're scum, you know, Lydia's the best you could do or whatnot or something like, like that. So then that leads to them, to um, Uncle Leo getting back together with Lydia. And then Jerry's parents agreed that Jerry's place is too small. So they were going to go move in. They went back to Leo's apartment. But then Uncle Leo's apartment was getting uh, low, um, uh, the low, um, low flow shower heads. So then instead of just going back and forth, they decide we're just going to go back to Florida. Then George's parents decide they're not going back to Florida. So I, I, they're not going to go move to Florida now, which I, don't, I guess it was in spite the, despite the Seinfelds, who, who knows, but I guess to consider they're going back now or whatnot, I, I don't know. I don't know why George's parents decided not to move to Florida in the end. But, um, so yeah, Jerry has got his buffer zone back, George didn't get his back. Um, now Kramer, Jerry, and Newman, though, they did find that, that black market salesman, and Kramer bought this very like big looking shower head. The episode ends with this shower scene where Kramer goes to take a shower. He's all excited, but instead of the water, before the water was low flow. Now the now this new one he got, I forgot what it was called, it was a big one, was too powerful that Kramer slipped in like a freaking somersault. I don't know how like, they, they they did the shot where like Kramer is like you know around where his male regions weren't showing at all when he did that flip but that scene where he's like being like you know taken down by the powerful uh water pressure and he flips in the shower and slip it was just it was priceless it's another one of those scenes that i think is like i mean i i would say this episode's not one of my favorite episodes but that was one of my favorite scenes for sure with kramer in that powerful shower he's ripping the shower curtain off the the rods and everything it was it was priceless uh but um yeah, that's the Showerheads episode. Um, any trivia in there? Again, besides uh, Jerry Stiller struggling to say Del Boca Vesta. Um, we have that. Uh, Jay Leno. Um, that's basically it. No, no, no other road trivia. Um, now, of course, if this episode, if you thought George was trying to get a buffer zone away from his, mother, his parents, in the next one... Not in the form of a human being, but of a, um, but of just a, um, inanimate object. He now has even less of a buffer zone, and not even in his own bed also. What are we talking about? We'll have the next episode to talk about next, the doll, to where jo- George is now being haunted by his mother through an inanimate object. What is that? We'll talk about that next. So that's my thoughts on the showerhead episode. Jerry's parents are going back to Florida. Jo- George's parents are not. Well, someone say Joe. George's parents are not going back to Florida. Uncle Leo's back with Le- with, with, with um with Lydia. Uh, Kramer's showerhead is not too powerful. And of course, Elaine gets her job back, but she still can't go to Africa because now she has you know the um her um. Her, uh, the last, the third test she took showed, like, she has, like, traits of, like, a 68-year-old woman. And maybe osteoporosis. Which is a shame. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode, which is called The Doll. So, what are your thoughts, guys, get on the showerhead? Make sure you leave thoughts down in the comment section below. And do you also agree that ending scene with Kramer and that powerful, um water pressure is one of the best scenes in the series make sure your thoughts down in the comments section below and be sure to always to slap a like on the video and subscribe for more content on my channel and follow me on twitter as well at demand air 3 until then guys i'm checking out i'll catch you all later have a great rest of your night and peace out everybody